Welcome to the movies, pal. Sumo and I have a doozy for you. I've got plenty of saltwater taffy and crocodile slippers for us. Because tonight's movie is... I don't know about you guys, but I am a big, giant animal lover. And this movie boasts one of the biggest crocodiles ever seen on the silver screen. And guess what? I freaking loved it. Let's go to the facts. Killer Crocodile, also known as Murder Alligator, is from 1989, runs 94 minutes, and was directed by Larry Ludman, a.k.a. Fabrizio De Angelis. You would think a movie like this is basically a ripoff of Jaws, and to a degree it is, but it's really more of an homage to the creature from the Black Lagoon. A group of scientists head into the Amazon to investigate possible pollution and find radioactive canisters leaking into the swampy area. Of course, this radioactive chemical interacts with the wildlife, and we get our giant, and I do mean giant, killer crocodile. When the young scientists find out that their friend has gone missing, they head back into town and they try to ask for help from the local mayor or judge. He calls himself a judge, but I'm guessing he's in charge of the town somehow. Anyway, this judge is basically the mayor from Jaws, and he says there's nothing to worry about, blah, blah, blah. And it turns out that he's in on it with the people who are dumping chemicals into the river. That's not really a spoiler. You find that out almost immediately. No one really knows about the giant killer crocodile until it makes a very big splash. Once the scientists find out about the giant crocodile, they realize that they have to preserve it, even if it did kill their friend, because it is a rare, one-of-a-kind species. Of course, this movie provides its own version of Quint in the form of Joe, a rugged, jungle-dwelling crocodile hunter type. Joe and the people behind the chemicals have to figure out a way to clean up the swamp before the media gets involved and they get in trouble for pollution. They head to the swamp to do a bit of cleanup, and, well, it doesn't go according to plan.
Joe and the scientists eventually team up and we get this amazing showdown. Joe! What? It's over there! Coming right at us! Let it come. You hold a steady kid or I'll cut your balls off. Come on, sucker! I'm not going to spoil the end of the movie because I'll tell you right now, the ending of this movie is as tense and satisfying as the finale of Jaws. You heard me right. I'd put it right up there with Jaws. As a matter of fact, I'd say this is the crocodile version of Jaws. And that's not casting aspersions. That's actually a gold star for this movie. This Italian production, of course, wanted to copy Jaws, but what it delivers is a balls-to-the-wall, no-holds-barred, giant monster movie. And it succeeds completely should you watch it absolutely freaking hell yeah you should the fine folks over at severin put this out on a double bill with killer crocodile 2 so i suggest you pick that up because the first one is amazing and stay tuned because next episode of mastercast theater we're going to be taking a look at killer crocodile 2 i loved this movie i am completely impressed by this movie and i urge you to go check it out it is a fun watch, it's got great gore, it's got, you know, limited character development, but honestly, who gives a crap about character development in these type of movies? We want to get to the action. You see the crocodile right from the beginning, it, they don't skimp on all that, which is something I hate. It's a pet peeve of mine when it comes to giant animal movies that you barely see the creatures. He's all over this thing. And honestly, yeah, it looks goofy in some shots, but in some other shots, it looks really damn good. And if you can suspend your disbelief, just uh where's the camera there you go just a little bit you're gonna have an awesome time easily this one gets five stars i loved the hell out of killer crocodile it was a blast to watch as a matter of fact i plan to watch it again with my son he loves giant animal movies just as much as daddy does if you've seen it let me know what you think i'd love to hear your opinion in the comments below if you want to see it please leave me a comment as well the movie theater is about to close. If you enjoyed this review, please use your reptilian fingers and smash the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. My name's Master Chaos, and I review the movies that nobody wants to watch, but everyone's curious about. Like I said, next episode we'll be tackling Killer Crocodile 2. Well, my friend, until we meet again, I wish you a very pleasant, crocodile-free evening, wherever you are.